If you have any doubts about asking people for help right now, I'm gonna tell you the truth, okay? You need to listen up really quick. You're not committed. Plain and simple. If you have a problem asking for help right now, you're not committed to your goals. and welcome to Crafted Entrepreneur. Okay, today we're talking about procrastination. And when I said that word right now, you probably thought about 10 things you're procrastinating on. And I want to share with you the reason why you're procrastinating. First of all, there's nothing wrong with you. You're not a bad person because you procrastinate. You procrastinate because of a few things. And I'm going to teach you today how to move through it and actually start being your biggest asset so you accomplish more in less time. One of the biggest mistakes that we make as entrepreneurs is thinking about the word how. We set a goal for ourselves and then we go, but how? How am I going to do that? And anytime our brain hears how, it starts to go into paralytic mode. It goes, oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And you're on this negative loop. And then we go and do things like escape from the goal. So you might find yourself going, I want to go and I want to work out three times today. I want to go and set a new goal that is completely nothing to do with that first goal I set for myself. I want to go and watch the newest Netflix show. Your mind will find tons of different distractions for you to escape to. And you procrastinate thinking that you have more and more time. So people waste so much time procrastinating and Remember, procrastination is a byproduct of thinking about how when you want to teach your brain who. This is the most powerful thing I've done in the last year, I would say. Who? Who do I need to talk to? Who do I need to involve in this goal to help me reach it? I'm doing it right now. I'm working with who in order to achieve my goal of this apartment complex in Scottsdale? Who do I need to talk to? Who do I need to ask for with referrals? Who do I know? And all of a sudden, my brain, every time I ask myself that question, I come up with more names. I come up with more ideas. But anytime I go into the how, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to do this? I get completely paralyzed. I am not an exception when it comes to procrastination and neither are you probably, right? So procrastination has so many negative effects. It causes you to be more frustrated. It affects your health. It actually makes you lose your ambition because when you procrastinate, you know, you have those things that you want to accomplish in your life. You go, well, I already have too much I want to do. So I'm just going to not think about any more dreams. And you just become stuck and stagnant and you stay in your comfort zone. Procrastination happens because we're asking ourselves the wrong question, right? But procrastination sometimes is wisdom. And I want you to think about it in this way. Your mind knows that there's a lot of work ahead of you. And it hears all the time, hey, smart, be smart, work smarter, not harder. And so the reason why you're procrastinating is actually because you need to think about all of the people that are going to help you accomplish your goal. So you're not working a hundred hours a week, but you have a lot of people maybe doing a little bit of work to help you achieve that goal. Now, in order to involve the who in your goals, you've got to be a leader. What does it take to be a leader? You've got to have vision. If you are listening to this podcast right now, I know for a fact you've heard the saying, without vision, the people will perish. You've got to know where you're going and you've got to know why people are going to want to be involved with you to accomplish that vision. Just on a call earlier today, I'm talking to a girl who is helping me inside of my real estate fund. And the reason she wants to help me accomplish my goal is because I shared with her my vision. 
I said, hey, the wealth gap is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. My opportunity inside of this fund is to educate more and more people about investing in private funds, how it's so much better for them than investing in public markets. And I just need to educate more people. So I need to be in the right rooms to educate more people because what's gonna happen is the more people understand investing in private funds, the richer they're going to become. And when money is in good hands, guess what happens? World change happens. That is my goal. So I need to get into the right rooms. And she's like inviting me into all of these rooms just because she wants to help me in the mission. Again, it was the who I needed to talk to her. It's so incredible what will start to happen when you have a vision that pulls people. When you heard that vision right now, you're like, yeah, I want to be a part of that too. How can I help Kayla? Well, I want to hear what your vision is. I want to hear what you have going on. What's going to pull you out of bed every day, right? That big vision. But how is it going to pull other people into it? You know, it has to be about impact. How are you impacting the world? What are you changing inside of the world? And I talked to my friend the other day. He has a huge e-commerce business. He sells dog products. And, you know, you would go, well, how does that pull him out of bed every day to sell dog products? Well, he's a veteran and his dog helped him survive. You know, it helped him decrease his anxiety and he felt like he could go and do things in the world. It really was like a pacifier for him. He found his best friend. And so he loves helping people get dogs because then, you know, he feels like they're going to be functioning citizens that are going after ambitions and making things happen in the world. And then what happens also, guess what? Those dogs need products. So he created the products for the dogs that make all of these dog owners like happy. You know, like if you know a dog owner, you know, somebody that like their pet is their kid you think about how much money they spend on their dog. They spend a lot of money on their dogs and it makes them happy to spend money on their dogs. So that's what pulls him out of bed every day. It's not the dog products. It's the way that he's changing lives through these people who their dogs are their children and they love them so much and they make them happy. They bring so much joy into their life. That's what pulls him out of bed. That's what gets him going. And, and I think about, well, how do I want to be a part of that mission? How do I want to give, you know, because it's such an incredible, incredible mission that he's a part of. So you need to have a vision a vision for yourself and a vision that compels others to be a part of it. And here's the thing about vision. It needs to be very clear and explicit. So you need to make sure that when you're sharing your vision, that people can imagine it in their mind. They're like, whoa, I can see myself in it. I can see myself experiencing this. Yes, yes, yes. They know exactly where they're headed. It's almost like this. I want to give you an example. You have a destination of going to Italy, okay? When you go to Italy, you want to go on a private jet. You want to have the first class experience, beautiful food and wine on the way there. And you're sleeping in a bed on your 13 hour flight. And you get to bring your dogs with you on the private jet. You get to bring your friends with you on the private jet. And everything is just a luxury experience of getting to this destination. And you know, when you get to Italy, you're going to experience some of the funnest times of your life with your most favorite people. Okay. And this is how you want to get to Italy is on this private jet. But if you don't tell the story in the right way, if you don't share the vision in the right way, People are thinking that you're going to Italy by boat. That's going to take you hours and hours and days and days. And you're going to be locked up in this small little cabin inside the boat. And they're going to get seasick. And it's because you're like, I just want to go to Italy. And I don't really know how I'm going to get there. I don't have a lot of money. And, you know, we're just going to bootstrap our way there. We're just going to figure it out on the way. And people in their mind are thinking of, oh God, I don't want to go on that mission. I don't want to get seasick. Doesn't sound like she knows what she's doing. And we don't even know what we're going to do when we get to Italy. Like, I don't want to do it. But if you have the compelling vision, I want to go on that private jet. I want to experience that luxury along the way. And I want to go there and have fun with you in Italy. 
I know this sounds like a very silly experience, but remember, it's clear and explicit. As I shared with you, the way we were going to go to Italy on a private jet, you're all probably raising your hands going, heck yeah, I want that too. I'm going to go on that private jet. What do I need to do to get on that private jet? That's how compelling your vision is about your business, about your goals needs to be. Make It's going to be hard work, okay? But people need to know, why do I want to be a part of that? <laughs> what is in it for me? What am I going to get? Have a compelling vision, okay? That is part of leadership. And how do you get that compelling vision? You got to make space for yourself. You got to get quiet within yourself and saying, what am I committed to achieving? And how am I going to feel along the way? How am I going to feel when I get there? Why is this important to me? You only get the answers to those questions by taking care of your vessel, checking in with yourself, reflecting at the end of the day, starting your day off by doing a brain dump and getting everything out there so you can think clearly about where you are headed and the type of person you need to be today in order to accomplish those goals, in order to connect with those people who are going to help you get to where you want to go. So I want you to think about this when it comes to your vision. Who is going to be impacted? Whose life is going to be better because of your business? Because when you achieve your newest goal you've set for yourself, who's the impact? And I want you to think about it in this way. Who is going to be directly impacted? Now, if you're making more money inside of your business, you get to bring home a bigger check. Maybe your employees are getting a bigger cut. Maybe you're doing a profit share with them but you're also going to be directly impacted for more income. And how is that gonna help you and your family? Who are you gonna give back to? So who is that direct impact going to be? But then let's think about the boom impact. When people buy your product, when people buy your service, they're gonna be impacted. How? How are they gonna be impacted? Are they making more money? Are they gonna be healthier? Are they gonna have more time on their hands? What are the positive ways that they are going to be impacted? Now, this is where it gets mind-blowing, okay? This is where it gets really fun. Now, because they've been positively impacted, maybe they're making more money. (gasps) They're able to hire more people. They get to hire a house manager. They get to hire a real estate agent to buy their dream home. Okay, that real estate agent's going to get a commission. Now, their family's life is forever affected. Okay, they get to hire a full-time employee to work for them. Another family has been impacted in a positive way. More money is flowing in. Do you see how exciting it can be to run this impact exercise? And I just kind of think about it like as a small circle. So we're first impacted as an entrepreneur, right? Okay, more income. Okay, we're going to have fun. But who is impacted like as a customer and how does their life change? And you just think this small circle gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I think about all the clients I've helped. Just recently, a client I'm still working with right now, she's absolutely killing it. Since working with me, her income has gone from $30,000 a month to $120,000 a month. She's about to hit a $200,000 a month, okay? And this has happened because she's following my business strategy, but she's also following my spiritual strategy because it is so intertwined. But I think about the impact that's happened in her life. She's been able to invest. So she's bought a couple single family homes with that money. So that's creating legacy impact. It's also providing a safe, beautiful home for families who can't afford to buy their own home. That's amazing. So what happens when people have a safe home to live in? (gasps) Then they can go after their goals. They can focus on important things in their life and get things done. There's so much impact that happens there. I'm not even going to go on a tangent because you know I'm obsessed with real estate. She's been able to hire two more employees into her business, changing lives right there. She's also been able to give back. Her family went on an extravagant trip for the first time ever, where I'm talking like multiple six-figure trip because she could. And they got to have once in a lifetime experiences because of that. Okay. So lots and lots of impact is happening there. And in order for her to achieve that goal, it wasn't a how situation. Remember, we did talk about spiritual strategy. We did implement business strategy, but inside of that business strategy, there was a lot of who, not how. We asked the question and you need to ask yourself this question right now when it comes to your goal. 
who can help me achieve this? Who can help me achieve this? And when you ask yourself this question, it's really going to stretch your comfort zone because most of us don't like asking for help. We don't like telling people about what we have going on because then if we don't do it, we don't want to look stupid. And we don't want to say, hey, I need help because then that person's going to think I'm weak. And the reason why, if, if you have any doubts about asking people for help right now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. You need to listen up really quick. You're not committed. Plain and simple. If you have a problem asking for help right now, you're not committed to your goals. Mic drop moment right there. And if you're not committed to your goals, it's because your vision isn't compelling enough. You don't really think your life is going to change when you hit that goal. So make your goal bigger, make your goal better, and then get committed. A 10 out of 10 commitment is required if you're actually going to make moves. It has to be all in. Now, the strategy might change. How you do it might change. Who you do it with might change. But the commitment to the goal cannot ever vary. It has to stay 100% committed. As I'm doing my fund right now, you know, I don't have to do it. I could 100% walk away and it wouldn't change my current lifestyle walking away from this. But you want to know why I'm 100% committed to making this happen? Because my three children, that's why. Because in five years when we exit this property, I have big plans and so much is going to change because of this deal going through at the amount that I'm investing at. So much will change in our life in five years. And so that's why it is a non-negotiable for me to do this fund. It is an absolute non-negotiable for me to help 100 people come into this deal and become real estate investors if they're not already and help them change their family's life, lives, period, end of story. It is happening. It is done. And again, I might not even know all the 100 people that are coming into this deal, but I'm committed to those 100 people before they even step on my door because I know how it's changing my three kids' lives. Remember, so it goes back to that. It might not change my current situation, but it will change theirs. In five years, I'll have an adult son. I'll have an adult son in five years. I'm committed to that 18-year-old. That's why I got to show up and do this now because I have big promises to him and I don't want to let my kids down. I don't let ever let my kids down except maybe sometimes when I yell, right? But in those big goals, I show up for them because I want to show my kids, hey, mommy did this. I did this hard thing and you can do anything you put your mind to. Period, end of story. We are not quitters. We are people who make it happen because this goes back to this important point of this procrastination thing. Because we are not afraid to ask for help. We focus on who, not how. That's how we get things done in this family. So there are, countless brilliant people in your life. You might just be one connection away from them right now who want to help you achieve things. They're out there waiting, wanting to help you. They've been looking for somebody with your type of vision that they can lock arms with and help you accomplish your dreams. You've got to show up and let them know that the opportunity is there, right? Maybe it's a virtual assistant you need to hire. Maybe it is a life coach you need to hire. Maybe it's a mastermind you need to join. Hello, check out kaylacraft.com. Maybe it's a partnership. You want to become a real estate investor and you're like, gosh, like I just don't know what to do. I don't have any money right now. Go to kaylacraft.com. We'll teach you exactly how to do it. Or maybe you're like, gosh, Kayla, I'm just making money and I'm just in my zone of genius, helping so many people right now. And, but I don't like my money sitting in the bank and I want it to work for me. Hit me up, right? Prosper.investnext.com. You can learn about the fund and how your money can work hard for you in real estate while you stay in your zone of genius, doing what you know best. I've gone out and done the due diligence, right? And I'm sitting here praying for those investors to come in. And I'm so excited. I've done all the work on this. I've done the due diligence to make sure this is a fantastic, fantastic deal. So remember your takeaway from this podcast episode is who, not how, who do you need to talk to? Who do you need to have a conversation with? 
Who do you need to get in front of? Who do you need to help today? And the last thing I'm going to leave you with is this. Who needs to, not wants to, who needs to be a part of your vision because it's going to make them fulfilled, because it's going to bring joy into their lives, because it's going to help them accomplish their ultimate goals in their lives. Focus on the who, not how. Thank you so much for listening in today. I'm so excited to see all your comments, your questions, your concerns. DM me over on Instagram. Remember to check out kaylacraft.com to see everything we have going on. And again, if you're interested in becoming an investor and coming in on this apartment complex, head over to prosper.investnext.com. You can create a free account over there and check out our newest offering. All right, bye everybody. Bye.